What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Rob, the UK Vapester, and today we're taking a look at the Narada Pro by Orgvape. So this is a tiny little pod style kit that also has a RBA section available, which I will be showing you in this review, but let's not waste any more time, let's jump into the unboxing to show you guys every single thing you get when you buy this from new. So here is the box. Inside you'll get a warranty card, a user manual, a box of accessories which include a type C charging cable, a 0.4 ohm mesh coil and a 1 ohm mouth to lung coil and of course you get the Narada Pro. So guys here is the Narada Pro, we're going to start this review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top with the tank or the pod section if you will. So the pod or the tank section holds a massive 3.7 mils of e-liquid, so quite impressive. At the top we do have this removable drip tip that's held together by two o-rings, and of course you can use your own 510 connection drip tips if you wanted to. Moving down to the bottom, this is where you install the coil. I do have the rebuildable coil just to show you how it's installed. So with your coil, as you can see, we have this little bit of a lip, and this comes with all the coils with the Narada Pro. So all you want to do is line it up, so it fits in like so and then slot it in and as you can see the lip comes in between these two pieces and that is how you install the coil and you want to make sure it's nice and flush. Now on the side you'll see that it has this filling hole so all you want to do is just peel this open to reveal and as you can see there it is big plenty big enough for any of your bottles no issues whatsoever and that is the tank. And now for the mod. As you can see I've got the black and carbon fibre version. This is of course not real carbon fibre but looks pretty damn sweet. Moving down you can see that it has a type C charging port and this is also an upgrading port because in the future they will be releasing software upgrades which is always interesting. So this will fast charge at 2 amps and it will of course charge the internal battery which is 950 ma. At the top we have our screen and this is simply 5 clicks on and off using this wheel or the fire button so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and as you can see we're on and it has a maximum output of 30 watts and of course you can just spin this guy to reduce it down so fairly fast all the way down to 5 watts and if you click it 3 times 1, 2, 3 it will lock the wattage as you can see with that little symbol right there and of course you have the battery life indicator and also the ohmage reader as well. So this is the only mode you have at the moment which is wattage but like I mentioned you will be able to upgrade the software and hopefully it will come with more features. So one, two, three to unlock and this doesn't round robin but you have your little wheel as you can see that just spins and adjusts the wattage and that's pretty much the mod. So like I previously mentioned you can buy separately an RBA section and I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like and how to use it. So inside you'll get a little tool and also spare o-rings and screws. You'll also get part of a tank and this is how you fire so you can see the resistance and also see if it's burning evenly and of course you get the RBA section itself. So taking a closer look at the RBA section as you can see there's no adjustable airflow and it pretty much looks exactly the same as a coil. If we just twist this bad boy off, we can actually see the deck. And as you can see, it's a postless deck that just has two screws and you put your leads in either side. And it's pretty standard, pretty simple. Now the diameter of the coil I have in right now is a 2.5 millimeter. So this is pretty much the largest you'll ever want to put in this RBA section. I'll also quickly shout out proper coils that do a mouth tongue Clapton that has a diameter of 2.5. So it will fit in this RBA deck and they're absolutely spot on one ohm as well, which is perfect for a mouth to lung. So once you have your coil installed, all you want to do is get the half deck section and you just of course want to put this bad boy in so we need to do is line it up with that little hole push it in so it's all the way exposed like so and it fits flush right there then of course all you need to do is get your mod install this bad boy like so and of course you have this little groove here so you make sure that's nice and clipped in then of course you want to load it up you want to adjust the wattage I of course will always adjust this lower because you don't want to have it too high when you first pulse it and then just fire this bad boy and as you can see, you just keep pulsing it and then see, hopefully, it'll burn evenly. And of course, if it doesn't, you can just strum it. But this is basically just a little bit of a deck, just to quickly see if you can fire it to make sure it glows evenly. Ready to install cotton and then set up 
in the proper deck. And now guys, vape time. So in the box you're given two coils, a 0.4 ohm coil and a 1 ohm coil. The 0.4 ohm coil is good, however the airflow is a little off with me. It's not necessarily restrictive enough to be satisfying for a mouth to lung, but it's also not open enough to be a direct lung. It's one of them weird in the middle sort of spots and it's not necessarily satisfying in terms of vaping it because it doesn't meet either category. It's a little too open for a mouth to lung and too restrictive for a direct lung but I will say is the one ohm coil very good flavor or decent flavor and also it fits that mouth to lung style perfectly does a really great job for me personally what I will be vaping on though right now is the rebuildable section and that's the same coil as you saw in the close-up that reads at 0.7 ohms I have at 18 watts with the airflow fully open at the moment so let's give this guy a vape and see what we get Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrict it down just to show you guys the differences. Okay, okay, so firstly, the airflow uh, differences are marginal. They're very, very, di uh, very, very similar. Um, there's a tiny little difference necessarily when you do close it off, but you will notice it a little bit more on the mouth to lung versions because of course you can tailor it even more specifically to how you like the airflow for a mouth to lung. It's not a massive difference, but it does restrict it down ever so slightly. So what I'll do is on the airflow test closer to the mic, so this is it fully open. And this is it fully closed off. So you can't really hear any difference, but there is a very small difference in the airflow style. And like I said, for a mouth to lung, it does make you uh, give you the option to tailor it more specifically to how you like the airflow. So I do like that feature that has, even though it's not a massive airflow adjustment, it's some airflow adjustment. And all round, it's pretty decent. What I will mention though is the saturation of the cotton. I've tried so many different builds on this and it doesn't seem to saturate as fast as I like to vape. And I have tried different cotton, different styles, different diameters of coil, loads of different styles, and it's always the same. It doesn't saturate as quick as I'd like it, so I think it is down to the device. And now I just want to say a few thank yous. So firstly, a massive thank you to OrgVape for sending me this free for the purpose of review. If you guys want to check out any more information about this product, check the description down below. I also want to say a massive thank you to my patrons. They're the only ones that support this channel, so massive thank you to all you guys. If you guys are also interested in becoming a patron for some special exclusive stuff and also just in general helping the channel there's a link to that down below so finally my pros cons and final thoughts I'm gonna start with cons so the only real cons I actually found with this is number one I didn't like the wheel I didn't like the wheel and how easy it is just to scroll and move so you have to lock it every time you uh, pick a wattage you want and I just found it a little bit annoying I'm just basically not a fan of the wheel mechanism so it's one of them things, some people might think it's cool and really like it, I personally didn't. With my OCD as well, I continuously wanted to change it and move it so the V is the right way up, so yeah, it's just a little bit annoying. One thing that I also wanted to mention is, it's not necessarily a con, it's just something I wanted to point out, is that when you want to lift this guy up, it's not going to go anywhere. That little uh, pod chamber section is not going to go anywhere when you pull up, but when you pull to the side, it's not the hardest to take apart. Now, I won't mention that necessarily as a con, just simply because I haven't experienced any problems. I haven't ever accidentally pulled this apart with any issues. I've always gone to pick it up, usually by the actual metal case itself, the mod part, rather than the actual um, tank part. However, like I said, no issues, and if I do wiggle it around, it's not going anywhere. It's just if I specifically hold it, put it to the side, it's quite easy to take apart there, but that's not necessarily, like I mentioned, a problem. Now moving on to the pros. Number one, I do love the fact you can buy an RBA deck with this. I would have preferred if you got the RBA deck free with the kit. That would have been better in my opinion. It seems everybody right now is selling the RBA section separately to make a little bit more money. And I get it because obviously the RBA section isn't for everybody, but it would be nice to have that as an optional extra just free in the box. But that's just my thoughts. Other than that, of course, as this is more tailored towards mouth to lung with lower, sorry, higher resistance coils, um, you obviously can use this throughout the day with no problems with the battery life, so that's always a plus. The screen, 
It doesn't give you too much information. There is an update hopefully coming soon. So this is upgradable software, which is obviously excellent. It's got fast charging at two amp with type C. Once again, excellent. It's a nice slim design that goes well in the hand, which is also quite nice. It's small, it's nifty, it does the job. Um, and like I said, with the RBA section, it is quite a nice little vape. Now, the other negatives I have all already mentioned, but I'll just reiterate in the video, is the wicking I found with this isn't the best at saturating. And what I mean by that is after you've taken a few hits, you need to kind of leave it for a while for it to resaturate. And this could be just my building, but I have tried it with so many different builds and so many different wicking techniques, and they always come out the same, that they don't saturate as fast as the other things that I'm basically reviewing right now. All the other things I'm reviewing right now saturate absolutely beautifully, spot on, straight away. This is the only one I have to leave for a little bit to resaturate. So that's the only reason I've really noticed it. But all round, pretty solid device. Not the best, not the worst, but pretty much around that average sort of situation compared to the others. But not a bad little guy. Yeah. Not bad, but I'd love to know what you guys think of this down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys next time.